M. Night Shyamalan. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm Johnny. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure Firstly, to meet you. like you've you've got one of the most notoriously kind of enigmatic cool names in all the film. <laughs> what do people call you? Do they call you Mr. Shyamalan, M. Night, M from like the Bond movies? <laughs> Well, m most people call me Knight, so that's that's cool. That's what you should call me. You like Batman? That's yeah. Amazing. <laughs> like so Shade or Shade Sting. <laughs> <laughs> Split could be another great name. Yeah. The movie. Uh, I, I was trying to think of how I can summarize this, and I can't. I went in. I didn't know what to expect. Whether it's going to be a horror or a thriller, where it'd be like Ten Cloverfield Lane or Misery or Psycho or, or The Evil Dead or whatever. And it was like nothing. It was like none of those things. How do you even sum up? the tone of a film like this. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, it's a great compliment that you're saying that because, you know, what, what I'm trying to do is something super hyper original, not something you can't dismiss. So, you know, why do we go to the movie theaters now? There's a few reasons. I mean, there's, there's CGI porn. There's, that's one way, one reason to go, oh my God, so much CGI, I can't take it. Um, we gotta go to see it. And then I, I believe there's another reason and that's, that's there's something specific and unusual um, that you, if you didn't go, you'd miss out. You can't go and watch it uh, somewhere else. This is the only place you have to go to the theater to see this particular story told in this particular way. For me, I like m m connecting genres. So primarily it's a psychological thriller. So let's just say that's the God genre. That's the one you have to honor. But there's humor, there's, there's, there's fantasy a bit, there's drama, you know, deep emotion hopefully. And you're swinging between all that. That's my, that's what I'm having enjoying right now is making you laugh, making you scream, making you feel emotion and dancing and, and dancing through all those. What I love about your films in general, what I loved about this one is that I've only been in cinemas where people have been like very vocal, audiences have been very vocal in two films like ever. And that was this one and it was signed actually <laughs> way back when. And, uh, and that was with the aliens jumping out. This one, it was more the warmth in the movie, mm. which was weird. So you've got James McAvoy, he's playing 23 characters in one, and he's uh, almost a despicable bad guy, but you like him all the way through. How did you guys develop those <laughs> different characters within this one person? Yeah, I mean, I'm glad you said that. That's why I hired James. I hired him to make the, the characters empathic so that you felt connected to them, that you cared for them, you know? Even though some of the identities are doing things that are uh, wrong, they have their reasons for it, and they're trying to justify it, and they're funny, and they're trying—they are trying to connect with these girls. It's really—it's really interesting. They have a need; they want to connect, and so you're you're, con you're conflicted during the movie because you you really you really care, and then when you hopefully when you finally meet the the. The, the core personality named Kevin Wendell Crumb, you feel incredible emotion for him. At least that's the hope. Manchester by the Sea uh, is a film that's had a lot of plaudits recently with a fantastic performance from Casey Affleck. Mm. That was initially supposed to be Matt Damon. I mm. heard that perhaps Joaquin Phoenix was initially the mm -hmm. thought behind this movie. Was this just one of those happy accidents where things kind of fell into place and now you couldn't see any other person apart from James McAvoy playing this guy? I, I believe that's exactly what happened. You know, the schedule shifts and moves. One person movie slides and then one mo person movie goes away and that's exactly what happened. One, in, one actor's schedule slid in the wrong way and one actor's schedule slid in the right way. And that's almost like the universe saying, this is who should play the part. And when you see the movie, uh, uh, you'll, I think you'll agree with me that there's no, there's no other human being that could have played that part. Now, I've been, I've been mulling over how I address this because I don't want to ruin the ending. Mm. Like very few, very few films you, you kind of leave and you are so desperate to tell people. I had a meal with some friends last night and I was so desperate to tell them what happens at the end. <laughs> uh, but they were like, no, no, I'm going to watch the movie. I'm going to watch the movie. I can't, I can't say what happens, but there's a huge twist. You love your twists. You love like a surprise, but there's a different type of surprise in this than you have ever done before. How can we describe uh, this in code of okay. why you wanted to do Here's that? Here's the code of what, what happens at the end of Split. Are you guys ready? Ready? So ready. This was the goal. Can I make a movie where you, are, you watch a movie and it's one genre. You watch an entire movie and it's this genre. You think you're watching this genre all the way through and you have a completely satisfying experience in this genre. And in the last moment of the movie, you realize it was a completely different genre movie. You were not watching the genre that you thought you were watching. That's actually perfect. That's a really good, that's a really good way of putting it. I'm still <laughs> kind of 
I'm stressed about it until it comes out. <laughs> I really hope it's it's going to be one of those films where nobody knows until they've seen until they've seen the film. Well, I got to tell you, you're, you're getting on something kind of miraculous that I want to talk about. I've screened this movie uh, in the United States and around the world for months. It like sneak sneak screenings, and everyone's been keeping it in this gracious kind of joint decision all around the world of like, shh, don't say anything, and. I, I can't believe it. It's so it's so wonderful. We're gonna open in a week, and I I um, I, I I wouldn't have I couldn't have believed it. Hi. Oh, oh my God! Sorry. Hey. Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Oh. I'll just leave it at that. I've wanted to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. Got some lips behind oh. your teeth.